The word for today, failure in perspective three. In the Bible, it says, Lord, if it's you, Peter replied, tell me to come to you on the water. Come, he said. Then Peter got down out of the boat, walked on the water and came towards Jesus. But when he saw the wind, he was afraid and beginning to sink, cried out, Lord, save me. Immediately, Jesus reached out his hand and caught him. Matthew 14, 28 to 31. When you know you've prayed, prepared and planned, you must step out and do it. It's normal to experience fear when you attempt something you've never done before. Perhaps you've read about Peter's attempt to walk on the water and judged him a failure. That's not so. First, Peter gets an A for courage to leave his safety zone and do what he hadn't done before. Second, he experienced the exhilaration of actually walking on water, if for only a fleeting moment. No other disciple could boast of that. Third, he learned a valuable lesson. Focusing on Jesus rather than your circumstances is essential when attempting the impossible. Fourth, he recognized that his survival depended solely on Jesus. He was afraid and, beginning to sink, cried out, Lord, save me. Immediately, Jesus reached out his hand and caught him. You have little faith, he said, Matthew 14, 30 to 31. Jesus didn't condemn Peter for failing. He just told him he needed to grow his faith. God won't let you drown in your failures. As long as you trust him, he works with you to succeed. He is your heavenly father and your success is his success. That is the word for today.